talking about Edson, this year's tournament director of the HACO tournament. Now, first of all, what has transpired here today during this HACO uh, tournament meeting? We had a great, successful, high-energy luncheon where we announced the seedings and the pairings for our 41st HACO Invitational Tournament. What's the, the trip been like, the journey been like, leading up to the day for you? It's been a lot of fun. This is a great event. It's the Sports Council signature event. We've had a great group of folks and great committee working together. Just say, been fun. Say if I was an old guy walking across the parking lot from out of town, just drifted up uh, the new uh, Gate City Boulevard and saw you come into the building prior to the HACO tournament. I said, what is going on in there? What is going on with this HACO tournament? Tell us about it. Well, the HACO tournament is an invitational. We have eight participating Guilford County schools, both men's and women's game. You see some future uh, stars and future basketball players, and it's just great basketball and uh, a great tournament. Tell us what it returns to the schools. They get more than just uh, a good Christmas basketball tournament workout. They get more than that going back to the school. That's correct. I'm glad you asked that. Not only do we have four $2,000 Bill Lee Memorial Scholarships, the net proceeds from the tournament go back to the schools that are participating. Last year we returned $114,000 to eat to the schools collectively, about $12,000 to each school. How big is the uh, importance and the input of HACO to this tournament? It's huge. HACO has just recommitted to a five-year sponsorship uh, with us, and they are have been a really, really strong corporate partner, and we look forward to working with them for the next five years. You've had good assistance from New Bridge Bank and also WFMY News 2, your media major partner. Absolutely. WFMY News 2 did our awesome pairings video today, and our other media sponsors have always just been huge supporters of this tournament and help make it happen. What will you be doing the day the tournament begins? What's your role going to be like? How will it change once the tournament's actually being played starting up the day after Christmas? We'll be done planning and we'll be implementing and making things happen. That'll be the biggest change. Has it been fun uh, being a big part of this, being in a lead role, being the, the, the lead dog, so to speak, lead the track down the road for this? Oh, it's been a blast. We have just such a great committee and the Greensboro Sports Council members are so committed to this tournament. They make it easy for us. Well, that's a thanks for your time, and again, any last words of encouragement for those who are on the fence about coming out to the tournament? What do you tell them? Come on out and see some great, exciting high school basketball December 26th, 7th, and 28th at the Greensboro Coliseum Special Event Center. And you got two very good number one seeds in Greensboro Day School, the men unbeaten, and that unbeaten Northern Guilford women's team, too. Yes, we do. It's a lot of good, quality, exciting high school basketball. Thank you, Val, for your time. Thank you.